two days here without fish. Um, but this week the, the tide is all wrong, it's dead low. Uh, and I think that's the issue. Very, very low. Let's see. I'm, really, I'm standing in the water here. So there was tons of bait fish. I got smashed twice, I mean by big fish. I so know there was stuff stuff in here. But I didn't land anything. I didn't, didn't actually hook onto something, it just picked me up, took off, took tons of drag and then let go. So let's see. Yesterday was a southwester. Today, this is my first cast fishing the river prawn four inch. I haven't fished a three inch since probably the first day I've fished it very few times, so maybe I should go back to a three inch today. Sure, oh, if I hook something, I don't know how I'm going to land it. It's so low. Quite a bit though. Tomorrow is supposed to be a much better day, Wednesday, so we decided we we're going to go offshore in the morning. Although the sea is quite rough, I'm going to take a chance and go and see to find something. Oh, something hit me. Uh, it's just, it's just mullets on the surface and bumped into them. I had a lot of rubbish this morning. That's good. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, like something good because it's chasing the fisher, right? But now, I don't know where I'm going to land this thing. Because, Rocks are so slippery. Oh, it's heavy. It's a heavy fish. Yeah. Yo, these rocks are extremely slippery. This is not a good idea. Good fish. Tired of mouth. Definitely a kingy of sorts. Didn't take long at all. Don't go in the rocks, dude. Don't go in the rocks. The tide is coming up. <coughs> No, I must bring a net. I didn't realize it would be so low. This looks like one of the biggest ones I've caught. Oh, and he just came off. That was probably the biggest one that I've hooked in this place. Oh. I think my struggle is to try and find a spot to land them is the issue here. Yeah. I'm gonna take all my stuff off. That was, was probably the biggest one I've hooked to date. Yeah, it was a giant. It actually, it looked more like a pompano than a, I know what's his name. I hope I can see it on the video, but I don't think so.
Pompano. I don't know, that's what they call it overseas, Pompano. Shit. I like a GT bike this car. Done a lot of damage to the lure. I need to find a place. I can get I need to I need to get organized and I get all the stuff out of my pockets and then put them on the top in case I do fall in. You, you won't believe how slippery these rocks are, it's like being on ice it's so bad. No idea how that one just came off. Oh, oh, there we go, the guys again. There we go, the guys. This one's a small one. This one I got a chance to land. Definitely have a chance to land this one. It's not a bad one, but it's not a big one. Yeah, still, still a mission there. On these rocks. <clears throat> oh, a little one. This is a little one. Like they were on fire here this morning. Beautiful fish. That's him. Absolutely stunning. Thanks for that, dude. Yeah. First one was giant. Have to see them, yeah. And these things are quite close in today. This morning I'm also, an, it's probably about an hour earlier than when I was yesterday, so. Want to change of the tide. Anyway, I'm going to save some battery. So just a little trick, um, something it makes. I think it gives me an added advantage here as well as this, this Pro Bass shellfish flavor. Spray it in the bag. I need a lot. Chuck it in the bag, chuck it up, and you can see it in there. What it does is it makes these baits nice and soft, uh, also adding a flavor to them. Makes them last longer, they don't get all twisted and, and yucky. Um, well worth getting hold of this stuff. Every time I buy a new bait, you can see this in a new packet, um, I, I just put a couple of sprays of that in there, and that looks after my baits, keeps them, keeps them going, adds flavor, adds sense. So, yeah, that's it. Um, one of the tricks here, South Pier or North Pier, or anywhere you go. Um, so this one has been soaked in there for for a couple of weeks. I think I've got down to two of these things, so I'm going to give it a try. I'm one of the slightly bigger jigged now because I keep I keep getting big hits, massive hits, and uh, they just keep keep uh, yeah they just keep popping off. Eh? I don't know why. So I'm thinking maybe my hook was too small on that other one. Um, I'm taking a risk here at low tide with a heavier to get. But let's see how it goes. Uh, also changed my leader because it was very frayed. So here we are, all fresh. Uh, 
out way too far. I'll go back to my original spot further down there. So this colour here that I'm using is goldfish. Um, also a good colour for, for Durban area. The other one that I need to try is olive because this, this water is really olivey. I think uh, that, that olive should work in this water as well. I'm going to have to work this one a little bit quicker because as I mentioned, heavier jigged. I did try the glow. I had no success. I only had about 10 casts. Not even 10 casts. So now I'm going for something in between. The river prawn and the glow. This is the goldfish. I just pushing in now. And so I've never really caught a lot of fish on the on the pushing tide here, but I'm definitely having a lot of good hits today. So I'm just hoping that this bigger hook is gonna make a difference. See what happens. and it's been dead for the last probably 40 minutes or so I haven't had a touch there's nothing around either there's one or two mullet here and there no bait fish anywhere so I'm taking a chance and I'm going big four inch paddle tail in the glow colour see if there's not a big kingy around Again, I think hey, I was just too late. And I've had some of the biggest hits today I've ever had at this place. Very solid fish picking me up and screaming off. But I have nothing to show for it, just one little key. Uh, I'm trying the bigger stuff. Bigger lures, and bigger hooks, bigger weights. But so far, no luck. And, and there's nothing, there's no bait fish, there's no mackerel, there's no nothing this morning. There's one mullet just jumped there, but nothing compared to normal. Anyway, let's see what happens. Alright, so it's back to Old Faithful. I've actually got the four inch, that's what I had all the bites on this morning. After I changed, I never had another bite. So back to the four inch river prawn on the light jig head. Right, one hit me right at my feet here, so I didn't even have time to, to show you guys the fight because it hit me literally at my feet. It was a small one though. But it's a good sign because the other day, oh, barely on. He got himself back in the water and he killed my bait. Oh, there was quite a few with him, so hopefully they're coming back on the bite again now. Or maybe it's just my four inch light bait that made the difference because I've literally been had about three casts of that and I'm on. So maybe they're coming back on again. Normally with these kingies, they guys they swim in shoals, so uh, big schools. So let's hope they're all school of them out and they're not playing rings, but it's not in my pocket, so it's just a bit. Right, this is the last cast. 
nice cost. Died this morning, probably the first 15 minutes. That was good. Had some massive pulls today. Huge fish picking me up. Didn't convert it. Lost one right here. And um, since then, there's nothing, there's nothing. Very few mullets around, very few bait fish around. There's even even the stuff in the rocks. Normally there's little, I don't know, angel fish and all kinds of things and goldies and that. But today it's just dead, dead, dead. Just no good. I think it would be very nice here late afternoon. But uh, yeah, I can only do mornings at the moment. I must try some afternoons one day. That's it, guys. Two little, puny little kingies. But yeah, I lost some big fish today. Anyway, I hope the video helps. Enjoy.